December the 27th, today's wisdom, call to real prudence. A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself, but the simple person and are punished. Proverbs 27, 12. In this verse, the wise cast a vibrant and urgent call to prudence. We can divide human beings into two big categories, one, the prudent, two, the simple. Four things characterize the prudent, one, open eyes, two, discernment of evil, three, the ability to escape evil, four, a shelter, where to hide. One thing is the loss of the simple, it's ignorance. Ignorance will make them blind before evil, without strength before evil, without a shelter in time of trouble. The true problem of the simple is not the evil they face but their ignorance. The simple ignores that with their own strength they can't face evil. They prefer to invest themselves deeply in the object of their pleasure, supposing that after all, the reality is the present, the rest is a mere illusion. The simple are strongly influenced by the mentality, let's eat and drink, for tomorrow we will die. We talk about the Epicurean mentality. Such mentality makes them blind and unconscious of the evil to come and set them free to live life as they want. 1. Their only vision is what they see. 2. Their only mission is what they want to have. 3. Their only passion is to be seen. In which category are we? Jesus says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. Matthew 7, 24. The house is every individual, the rock is Jesus. Jesus gave this parable to the crowds to show them that the only thing that guarantees stability, the robustness and durability of an individual is listening and practicing his word. Truth, the only thing that guarantees stability, the robustness and durability of an individual is listening and practicing the word of Jesus. Application, to establish my life on listening and practicing the word of Jesus. Warning, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. Matthew 7, 26. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, become the rock of my life. Amen. Today's reading, Psalm 131 to 135, verse 27, you are blessed.